a beginner's guide to how to connect your 48 to the internet. Coming up. All right, so this is probably one of the most frequent questions uh, when you're a beginner. You have just connected your 48 to uh, using one of its ports directly to your ISP router and you have configured an interface which will be used as your LAN interface. Each interface has its own IP address. Now, if you try to ping or get to the internet, you will find out that you just can't do that. So let's use the execute ping and let's just ping towards Google's DNS server, you've actually failed to send anything to anywhere. The reason is that you do not have a static route. You do not have a route directly to your gateway, that is your ISP gateway. So let's just create one. To do so, we'll use the network static route. Create new. Now here you will configure default route. A default route is your route to the internet. That is, you're actually telling your FortiGate if you need to go somewhere that uh, doesn't have a specific route in the routing table, go through the default route. So let's use the 0000 slash 0000. That is the default route. And the gateway address is 10.100.102.1. That is my gateway address. That is the uh, ISP interface that is connected to the internet. So let's just use the WAN interface. We will not deal with administrative access. We will not deal with priority. Let's just set it up. So now you have a static route. So again, now when you choose the pin command, so let's just do that again. And let's just to Google's DNS server, you will see that you can send ICMP packets towards your destination. But that is the first step. Now, as you can see, I didn't use a domain name, I used the IP address. So I need to have a DNS server. So let's just look uh, if a DNS server is already configured. So let's use google.com and yep you have a DNS server that actually translates your request towards the specific IP address. So let's just look at the DNS settings. And here we can see that we actually use FortiGuard server's DNS server, but you can also use as a primary or a secondary one of your chosen DNS server. I usually use 8888.